In 2002, the U.S. Army formed a secret unit dedicated to combating paranormal threats to national security. The unit was named... First Encounter Assault Recon. I love this game so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't... I can't believe I'm playing this game and I'm ruining the introduction for everyone and I'm not sorry because if you want a clean introduction without any of this any of this beautifulness then you can just go right ahead onto Steam and buy this game yourself it's like six dollars it's nothing you know shell out some money to Monolith Studios and to WB Games and I think it was day one or day seven studios I'm really bad with names. Anyway, we got some paranormal creepy stuff action going on, and it's not gonna make a whole lot of sense right now, but the important thing for you to know is this is one of my top three favorite games of all time. And I will go nuts like that guy just did right there over this game. Now, this is Fear, and if you couldn't tell, because the title was really small at this resolution, I've upgraded everything. This is the, oh, it's a big army. We are playing on my new PC that I just built. If you didn't see the picture images for the PC, I'll put a link in the description below. But if this is your first time with us, welcome to Four Mile Media. Um, great to have you here with us. We're playing Fear. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm never gonna stop saying that because it came out in like 2003 or four, I think. I can't remember exactly when it came out, but like, it's just, I, I'll, I'll go into detail on why this is one of my favorite games, because there's a lot of reasons. Least among them is Nathan Griggs's score. Uh, he's the composer and producer for this game. Mmm, meat juicy flesh. But there's a, there's a lot of story that I skip, well, didn't skip over, but there's a lot of stuff going on right there. <laughs> it's, it's kind of important, so, uh, and here's hoping I'm still in frame, because I got a new camera, too. Sorry to wake you, Senator. It's about origin. You sound like a douche, Senator. There was an uprising. It's also Bethel been, like, seven or eight years since I last played this game, My so... God. We'll so see we what happens. We can still resolve this discreetly, but we have to move fast. Oh, all right, all right. Let me make a few calls. <laughs> He's gonna make a call to fear? You bet. This wacko's name is Paxton Look Fettel. at the character the models. If we contain him, we contain <laughs> the situation. The fucker's got an appetite. Okay. I think he has an agenda. It's so, the woman in the middle He's getting something is, um... Essential vitamins and nutrients? Uh, What's the story? I just... Property of our I forget her name already, and I'm sorry a military to her to develop an army as a character. A but her fingers are colored commander. red, and that's because I remember that's she secret, was supposed to Fettel be a sniper. But they couldn't kill. find a good way to put this her in the game, so they made her a forensic clones, medical a person instead. And but they kept her design the same. So if you're ever wondering, like, why are her fingers red? Like that's said, why. She was supposed to be a sniper, but the instead the they made her a more forensic uh, criminologist to fit with the game. Should be able to corner the um, that is Rowdy Besters? Rowdy Betters? I forget. I know his first his name's Rowdy, right and it's the most American Talk fucking idiot. thing. And Assuming listen to him it does talk. What, it's supposed to. what about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? I'm ready what to go bowling. Are you ready to work? I'm ready to go crazy? bowling. It kind of looks like now. Shut up, Jankowski. Ago. You've seen his training results. His reflexes are totally off the charts. Wow! <laughs> I think he can handle himself. <laughs> reflexes off the charts. <laughs> Goddamn right it is. Oh, that Don't crackling worry. noise you're hearing? Very important. Let's what roll. One of the things that fear does wonderfully... Oh, uh, this is important. I woke up this morning and didn't want to go to work, but... You will be a god among men. Hello, Herr Doctor. How are you doing? I am Bibi. And you will be my puppy, yes? All right, so we're starting we off. To an abandoned oh god, this ahead. game is no bringing up so many memories. The but don't take any chances. Jankowski, you in position? Just say the word. Yo. All right, move it out. 
Oh, God. All right, so, fear mission coordinate. Oh, fuck, I pushed a button. Is that caps lock? No. All right, so we're just going to start off, and I'm just going to say that this game does sound design. The, 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 the sound design in this game is some of the best in any game I've ever played, period. Sound, to me, is more important than visuals in a, in a, uh... Just break the fucking board! In a scary game. Or, or a movie. Like, sound, Insidious did sound amazingly well. That, that, just the absence of sound, or filling in the soundscape with a low-frequency rumble. It psychologically makes people on edge. I'm going to slow-mo. And I shot the rat. Um... I've played this game a bajillion times when I was a teenager, like in high school, and I... Ooh. But there's some of it I don't remember, like the sperm graffiti. Hey, bro. What took you so long? I don't know, broski. I went to get some Try cheeseburgers down at Dick's. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So, um... Oh, where do I start with this game? Where do I start? Uh, I'm gonna start by putting in that I know where pretty much everything is, even though it's been like eight years since I played it, but uh, remember the layout of this room, because it's very important. One thing, one of the many things that Fear as a game and as a storytelling medium did very well was creating, um, uh, what is that? Oh, I forgot about that. There's, this game is very violent, too. Oh, is that you? Slide tackle! Ah! Try to keep the door open. Whoa, hi. Okay, hi. Um, hi. Just Get, get, get the fuck out. All right, so I have to pause here for a second. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening I need to explain. So you are chasing the commander of a, um, pretty much an army of clone soldiers, which is just a astoundingly good science fiction in my, what the fuck? <laughs> I know, what the fuck was that? That never, when I played this game thousands upon thousands of times, I played it on the console version, so this is my first time playing it on the PC. Uh, and I'm already just wigging out, because it looks so much better than it ever did on the, uh, than it ever did on the, um, the console. Okay, good, I can still break that open. And I just, duh, fuck off. Um, so there's... Where I was gonna start somewhere. I'm gonna stay here for a second until I could collect my thoughts because there's a, a little mini cutscene happening here. So you are chasing Paxton Fettel. He's the guy eating other people's faces, uh, and he is a commander, uh, a psychic commander for a battalion of clone soldiers. So the whole project was developed by DoD in secret to basically have a psychic commander control troops on the battlefield, available to the highest bidder, or in this case to the DoD. However. He's loose now, and they don't know why, so they need to take him down because he's a liability. He has a whole battalion of clone soldiers available to him, and it's like Order 88 or whatever that Star Wars piece of whatever thing over over again. So, bad things. You are the Hold point. Your name is Point Man, and I'm not sure what's going on. I was about to say, like, I don't know, karate kick the freaking door. Yeah. So you are Point Man, and you are part of Fear, which is a team devoted to slow motion feel. Yeah, I forgot he deteriorates. You were born here, in this place. Well, dang. You... That's bad. Hey, uh. We need you up here. On my way. Looks like we're too late, boss. Just leftovers. What is? Oh, it's a camera. I, the console never had that, that like blinking light on his head, so I was like, "What the fuck I'll is wait that?" Here for Jin. You take a look around. <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, this freaking game, man. I really hope I'm in the center of the camera. I really hope I'm in the center of the camera. But uh, I didn't catch whatever that sound was. So one of the things Fear does very. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> One of, the, one of the many things that Fear does very well is it, it intertwines audio and visuals. So the visuals back up and sometimes supersede the audio in terms of priority. Uh, can I still... Hang on, there's something that I... This was one of the first games to, to actually utilize, like, physics as a... What the fuck? There. Yeah, it still works! <laughs> I can still slide tackle things. Um is to utilize physics for pretty much everything. So like these boards move, um, the windows move. It kind of followed on the heels of Half-Life in having physics 
rain over everything, so like me kicking that down and stuff, but the trash bags strangely don't move for whatever reason. Anyway, um, but yeah, I just, this, this game is very inter- What the fuck? Crikey, right got us right over the side of the head with a 2 by 4 Should have seen that coming, but totally didn't. The man's didn't. name was Charles Haberger. I remember him. You also ate him. But our memories, mine, or hers, it makes no difference. He deserved to die. They all deserve to die. Creep show. So someone told me online that you can approach scary games more easily if you act like Steve What's Irwin approaching a scary animal. So every now and then I'll just lapse into Australian and offend everyone that I'm into. <laughs> there we go. Will we be ready? <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so this game, another thing this game does great is combat. And, and we didn't get too much combat right now. This was mostly just, like, the move-around tutorial and stuff. And I'm sorry if I'm moving my mouse really quickly, but I set my mouse on high because I'm freaking out! <laughs> oh, sweet. He's pretty cute. Yeah. That's not what I meant. Just say what's on your mind, Jankowski. I don't know. Something about him just feels off. Well, now I gotta kill him. Yeah, look to you as a judge of character will be a sad day indeed. I'm serious. It's something about his eyes. Like he's looking right through you. Except if you Maybe see my character model, I'm wearing a, ma a ski mask and goggles. You can't see my face at all. Hey, back already? Yo. Yep. See anything? She thinks I'm cute. <laughs> you boys run along. I'll be busy here for a while. Anyway. So that's our tutorial ever, but we're gonna keep going because I want to test the limits of this. Uh, I'm using NVIDIA Shadow Play, and this is not sponsored by NVIDIA at all. I'm just saying that's what I'm using now instead of OBS. And in testing, it looked great. So hopefully this all comes out fantastic because that would be amazing. I'll just use it from now on. Um, but these are flashbacks of things that I'm not gonna tell you what they are yet. Because the story is something else that I think has just been lost the annals These of time. From fear. And it doesn't Their deserve to be. It's a good story, in my opinion. Of this op. They will be on point. Their mission is to assess the nature uh, of It's the Sergeant threat. Johnson's voice actor. Do not engage the enemy. Remember that we are not dealing with ordinary bad guys. Team 1 will move in from the southwest. Team 2 will approach from the north. Once our recon is complete, we'll rendezvous and wait for further <laughs> orders. Okay, let's saddle up. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Like, there's so much I could talk about this game, and I, I won't stop talking about this game. So, anyway, Pax and Federal managed to elude fear operatives in Auburn, and his tracking signal was subsequently lost. Body of unidentified male was discovered at the site. So, basically, we got to track him down. Oh, uh, that was the name of the technical officer, the one with the red fingers, Jin Sun Kwan, whose name I just butchered, but whatever, and I butchered the name, or the word butcher, too, but I forgot. So, picture this. It's the mid-2000s. And these are, this is the pinnacle of high quality graphics. Like this was a, this was one of the games that was a turning point for high quality, like visuals in a first person shooter game. Like Monolith and Day One, Day Seven, I'll get the name right eventually, studios outdid themselves in the mid 2000s with this game. And I'll show you how. All right, so we gotta open up this gate here. Yeah, okay, we're going. <laughs> so I got kung fu moves. I got slow motion abilities. I got a checkpoint that took forever to load. Oh my gosh, I have to remember how to. There we go. And I got the the double kick, and then I got the roundhouse kick. All right, reflex boosters. <laughs> it's just so this game, um, this game looked at the time in the mid two thousands astounding. Even though even though by today's standards this would be like barely indie quality, like you see these sorts of graphics in like Hector or games like that. But I just think that this game it, it didn't age well. Like the textures all kind of eh, but it's still very worth playing. I highly recommend you play it. I'm playing through this game, and if you guys like it, I'm gonna play through the DLC too. Because the DLC is one of those games that scared me. Like the Perseus Mandate DLC, I have to adjust my position, it's so spoopy. The, the Perseus Mandate DLC 
has a moment in it that almost made me pee myself with fright, like shock and horror. And hopefully you guys will stick with me long enough for me to play that and for us to enjoy that. But anyway, so... Oh, damn. So yeah, they basically took the whole trope of the ring and made an enemy out of it. Crikey! Oh, okay. Survive operatives, surviving operatives. Okay. Cool. Saving checkpoint. Please stop that. Thank you. It has taken a long time for checkpoints to save. Anyway, Crikey, look at that! It's a fucking skeleton! Oh my god! It's like a 12 second fitness regimen! They went there. I don't. That was not worth it. So they set up ambiance through this game with those glitches and weird sounds and what the fuck was that? Oh, it's this guy. Well, you're dead, so I can't really help you, but Boop! Oh shit, I thought it was dead! I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm a terrible person still. Alright, so ooh. Oh well, I could probably could have stopped you there, but meow! Boom! Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. You're done. You're done. Oh! Oh, right in the fucking... Oh god, that sucks. Oh, uh, I thought I saw something here. Okay. D well, fuck off with that shit. I'm out. No. <laughs> <laughs> they just put so much detail into this game that for a first-person shooter... I mean, at the time, in the mid-2000s, I think we're like a golden age for first-person shooters. Especially f when a game like this was coming out, where there was just so much, so many advances in the technology available to PC gamers. And, uh, I mean, it didn't really make the transition to console games, but PC gamers got a lot of the upgrades and a lot more hardware and software to work with. And this game just made use of all of that. So I'm playing on a pretty nice rig, and you can check out the 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 schemat or the um, specs on that on uh, Imgur. I'm gonna put is that how you pronounce Imgur, Imgur, whatever. Um, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. But all right, we're just I'm just gonna be quiet, and I'm gonna talk about the gameplay here. So one of the things, another thing this game does well, is it makes slow motion gameplay optional but not so optional that you forget about it. Like, you could play this game without hitting the shift key, well, I said it's a shift key, and turning on slow-mo, but it's gonna be so difficult if you do. And I'm playing on extreme difficulty, like the highest difficulty setting, because I'm a boss at this game. And like I've said many times before, when I've been frustrated with first-person shooter games, or when I've been frustrated with puzzle games, I'm a boss at first-person shooters. So, boom, he's done, you're also done. Okay, so we've taken those two out. We're gonna keep going this way, because I remember this is the path I usually take. Pick that up. Bust that open. Okay, now here we go. Ooh, okay. That kind of sounded like... So, here's another thing they do well. This was one of the first games to include... Oh, shit. This was one of the first da games to include... Um... AI, like, advanced squad-based AI. Like, they talk to each other, and by extension you, they pair, they, um, they broadcast their next moves, they broadcast this, yeah, so they just told me that they have two men down. They tell you when the, they tell you when they're in distress or when the squad's in distress. Like, it's very, very advanced for for the mid 2000s like in terms of immersing the player in this world where the oh oh i know you could squish around in the blood that's weird okay yeah okay. see so now the squad's almost down because he said i'm needing backup and i know this might seem like it's really you know nonsensical and stuff nowadays but 
back in the mid 2000s, this was cutting edge and it informed so many other video games that would come after it. And I don't think this game gets enough credit for doing that, which is why I'm doing a Let's Play series on it. So long as WB Games allows me to do it, thank you very much. <laughs> Watch me get like 10 takedown notices or something. Just be like, yeah, I saw this coming, whatever. <laughs> That was kind of spoopy, but I don't care because I got that. Woo! Also, I have fisticuffs. Have at! Good sir! Oh, oh. Right. What? Oh. So, melee is OP in this game. Like, hor horrifically OP. It's just. Which I'm fine with. Like, I don't have a problem. Oh, good. The, the jumping slide kick still works. So, I think it was, like, ah, damn it. It's hard to pull off with a keyboard. It was easier with a controller. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Where are we? Where are they? I can hear them. I can hear them. Where the fuck are they? Oh, shit. I'm out of body armor. Well, there was a little loading, reloading glitch. Like, there's a couple of glitches that still stick in this game. Like, there's a, um... There's a reload glitch for another gun called the Penetrator, which <laughs> we're going to have fun with. But, uh, okay. I'm going to switch to a pistol here, and we're just going to... Oh my god, how did I miss? Why am I reloading? Oh, bye. What? How? Oh, because he shot me while he was dying, and I was too close. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Oh. Alright, so we got that done. I'm gonna switch over to pistol because why? Because I'm a badass and I got two pistols now. What? 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 Oh my god, you're dead! Boom! Boom, headshot. Boom! Boom! Whoa. Oh my gosh! That's awesome! This makes me feel. This game makes you feel like a badass and simultaneously very helpless in in like altering uh, stages, and that's that's sort of keeping you off balance while also making you feel empowered in combat. But in terms of story, making you feel very helpless is something I love about this game. And there's so much more I'm gonna love about this game. But we're gonna go a little bit longer here. Yeah, we got time. Boom. Oh, I shot you with the spleen and everything is just pain and agony now. Oh my gosh. Slow-mo makes everything so cinematic. I love it. Like, even the breaking glass. Like, individual shards of glass break. Boom. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> What the fuck? I wasn't expecting that big of a brawl. And they just rushed me. So like they Yeah, and like this guy. Whew. Okay, so that was that happened. That was a thing. But you can see now, like the AI don't do the same thing twice. Like they will roam around a space. And it woo. Hi. Okay. Well you're dead. Didn't dig too close to him that time. Huh, <laughs> Longshoreman Digest. <laughs> I thought it said Longshoreman Biggest, and I was like, well, that's making me feel inadequate. <laughs> so, we are still on our search for Paxton Fettel. Oh, the answering machines. One, new message. Yeah, this is Chet in accounting. Uh, nobody seems to know what's going on, but we've been hearing a lot of loud noises. Have you guys heard anything over there? End of messages. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a lot of story that comes about, um, or there's a lot of story explained by those messages and like laptops and stuff. Yeah, I'm just throwing that over there for a second. Damn it, damn it, I did it too soon. Hang on. I know they're coming through. Ah, there we go. Boom. Wait, wait for it. It's on the bounce. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> oh, god damn it. God damn it. All right, I run a little bit faster if I don't have anything equipped, so I'll just go through. Oh my gosh. Like, that's... 
That's so cool. Like, this game allows you to feel like a badass. But there's other parts of this game that make you feel like a, a lamb, like a little baby. Like, dual wielding pistols, for whatever reason, does a little bit more damage than an SMG does, which makes a little sense, I guess, but not really. Anyway. I should not have used... God damn it. No, you're not. You're not gonna check the upper floor. Here we go. Are they invulnerable while they're going through there? Alright, we're good. Boop. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through there. Ah, oh, sweet! Okay, so there is a glitch in this game, but I can't activate it now. It's when we get a fourth weapon. There's a glitch in this game that held up. I was doing a little bit of testing before I actually did this playthrough. Um, and the glitch in this game that held over from, like, the mid-2000s is that uh, if you pick up a fourth weapon, you can drop that fourth weapon. At, uh, like, let's say there's two assault rifles on the ground, and you have a shotgun, a pistol, and an SMG. If you drop the SMG, pick up the assault rifle, you can drop the assault rifle again, pick up another assault rifle on the ground, and they'll both have more ammo than if you just, you know, ran around picking up ammo with the assault rifle. Which, I don't know why they never fixed that. It would be, I would think it would be a pretty easy fix but I guess it just wasn't worth it or something. Wow, I took a shit ton of damage. So I should probably move or they're gonna frag out here. Oh, wait, no. See, he's flanking. How cool is that? Like, they're flanking me. Wiped out the whole squad. Boom. So he was coming to check on me. Uh, you can't take me down. I'm too powerful. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not powerful at all. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god damn it! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, shit, I should have quick saved. Okay. But I, I had a, uh, yeah, this is fine. This is fine, this works. I shouldn't have used that then. Oh my gosh, I'm just being so hard on myself here. Don't check the other floor. You ready for this? Oh my god, how badass is that? I just... I just jump in from the top freaking floor. To bo top to the bottom, bottom to top, I stop. At the coal, I forgot. Shit, I'm not doing well for extreme difficulty. Extreme difficulty is not good. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I gotta I gotta go. 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 Okay, 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 okay. 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 No, 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 no. So this smoke, this ambient smoke shit. Oh shit! God, god damn it, they flanked me. See? So it's not it's not that easy. Like, I haven't played a whole lot of modern FPSs, I guess. Like I guess we could call Fallout a modern FPS. Oh, but whatever. Um, alright, alright, we're just gonna fucking... Shut up. <sighs> it's so satisfying. Okay, I think, I think I glitched my way. Yeah, that's not too much damage. Okay, okay. Look at ammo. And now I'm gonna use that. So I'm better off than I was before, which is super. Uh, and now, we're just gonna... Where are you? Where are you? Oh, shit. Hi. No, 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 no. Whoop! That little bullet whistle. I love it. There, I didn't know that! So, wait, 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 wait. The Foley artist inside of me is going a little insane. Are you hearing that? What? No way! But if I shoot the bullets here... What? That's so... That attention to detail is stupid! I knew that was never on the consoles. I didn't know that existed. That's awesome! And I'm totally freaking out over the sound of bullet casings hitting cardboard, but fuck me, that's insane! I love the... Hi. Jankowski, come missing. back! I'm gonna quick save right here. <laughs> Jankowski, no! Oh. Yeah, I'm not going that way because there's a. Uh... 
there is a thingamabobber right over here. Someone, someone there. Oh, I, I'll, I'll tell you who's there. It's... They actually got nothing for that. <laughs> Crikey, look at this! More bones! Shit! Shit. Actually, no, shit. Really, yeah. That's bad. Whew! Alright, no, shit. Uh, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna overwrite that safe. Boom. We're gonna do that. Awesome. I'm gonna leave it right here, because we're running at like 30 minutes. So, thanks for tuning into this episode of Let's Play Fear. My name's Four Mile. I love this game. And it's only gonna get better from here, so like and subscribe if you liked what you saw and you want to see more of it. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see me play next, as well as what you want to see me do out of this game, and I'll try and make it happen, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye!